أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the opening prayer of the Quran being seen as really the Lord's Prayer of Islam is something that if you shared that with a group of Christians in middle America they would probably fall over and need resuscitation. <laughs> You know, I marvel when, when people ask me uh, the question about, or they say, did you know that? The opening prayer in the Quran is, is, is sometimes referred to as the Lord's Prayer of Islam. And my response is, so what? It is true. How did it get there? Common, common heritage, common linkages, common pieces of respectful dialogue and information sharing recognizing that we are connected. We do have a common source. There is one God. What Jesus came to teach, what Moses came to teach is to love God, the whole idea of loving God with all of one's heart and mind and soul and strength. I mean, when you look at this, this commandment to love the Lord your God with all of your heart and all of your mind and all of your soul and all of your strength, I mean, this is not, this is a very profound statement because we are instructed to love the Creator absolutely. If religion deals, with the eternal in the human condition. Its truths have to be universal, and they have to speak to the eternal in every human being. The commonality is, in my mind, so overwhelmingly greater than that which separates the different communities. And that is rooted upon the recognition of the one God, creator of the universe, guide of history, who is not only the one deity, but is a moral deity and therefore a compassionate and gracious and loving deity who calls upon us to behave accordingly. That is the common theme that unites Islam, Christianity and Judaism together. And it's the overwhelming, overriding message of our common heritage. I never like when people speak about the God of the Muslims and the God of the Jews and the God of the Christians as if they were different gods.